Um, we get warming up and maybe a few more people join. Um, but for starters, we're just gonna work on stick handling and moving around. So kind of like you guys were already doing, just stick handle around and walk around and <laughs> it's a very silly dance. Um, just get used to moving around while you're stick handling. All right? Go for it, guys. Yeah, you can do like small ones and then wide stick handles. Yeah, so we'll have you just start really small. So move in a small area at first, and then later we're going to make that area bigger. Guys, make sure you're stick handling around your body too. So make sure you take it to the side, take it out front, and then take it to the other side. Yeah. All right, looks like we got another one. Hey, Gus, welcome. Gus, when you get all set up, we're just going to um, be stick handling around and moving. So stick handle and walk around. And um, do some small stick handles and then some wider ones. <laughs> kind of mix it up a little bit. Okay, guys, we're going to rotate those wrists. Your top hand is doing all the work, and your bottom hand is just guiding your stick along. And then fly them. Alright 
guys, we're going to get started with our first drill. So you need two cones, and we're setting them up in front of us like we did last week, okay? All right, you guys got that set up? Okay. All right, so this first one, I think we did this last week. You're just doing a figure eight, zigzagging through the cones to get used to stick handling out far from you and in close. So it should look like this. Out far. And when I'm out far, my top hand slides, or my bottom hand slides down. And like that, or slide up to the top. And when I come down, my bottom hand slides down on my stick. So just zigzag through, you guys can move a little bit as you go with your, uh, your legs. You might make it a bit easier. Take some little steps. Make sure you keep your knees bent so you can move easily. And as you guys get used to it, you can speed up if you can. Or go the other way. Oh, there's Gus. Hey Gus, so we are just stick handling around two cones, okay? So Gus, see how Coach Carly has these two cones out in front of her? You'll do that setup too if you have two cones. You're not both stick handling. You gotta both be stick handling. You guys can't be tired already. I'm tired already. <laughs> Carly's tired. All right, let's go for a couple more minutes on this. Let's get some really good zigzags around these cones. All right, guys, keep on going for a couple more minutes, okay? All right, Gabe and Jacob, one of you is, is doing it, but the other one's not doing it. All right, there you go. Yeah, good. It's okay if you guys mess up too, you're supposed to. Yeah. Review your practices so that we mess up a lot at the beginning and then mess up less and less. We get more and get better. All right, guys. Let's come on and bring it in. Take a little break. Shake your arms out. Shake them out. Yeah, just give them a, give them a big shake. All right. Okay. Next thing is a small circle. Just yeah, a small circle, circle, big circle. Okay. So Allie's going to show our next one. It's also similar to a drill that we did last week. You're just doing a small circle around the cone that's closest to you, and then a big circle around <laughs> both cones. Right. So you guys see she made a little circle around the cone that's closest to her 
and then bridle around both of them. All right. As you're doing this, we want to focus on the same things. Okay, so we want to make sure we're sliding our hands. We can bend our knees, move our feet a little bit as we go through. Um, yeah, and you want that ball kind of like hitting in the middle of your skip blade-ish. It's going to slide a little bit. All right. Good. And Jacob, bend your knees. You can spread those pucks out a little further if you need to. All right, so we're doing small circle around the first cone, big circle around both cones. Good. Gabe and Jacob, if you guys need to spread your pucks out a little bit more, you can, especially since we're just getting used to it. And make sure you guys are bending your knees. All right, keep it up for a few more minutes here. All right, keep going one more minute, you guys. Not even 20 more seconds. You guys. Job, let's bring it in for the next drill. Take a quick break if you need it, and we're just gonna get rid of the cones. We're just gonna get rid of them. Awesome. All right. So we're gonna work kind of the rest of today on um, moving the puck out wide. So we're not just staying in where our feet are. 
um, we're getting it out wider. So this can be something as you guys get older, it will help you build up to bigger moves or fancy moves or whatnot. But for now, we're just gonna focus on little things that we can build on. So you guys gotta master these types of skills before you can do cooler stuff. But these things are pretty cool. Yeah. So all we're gonna do is stick in a lot of So let's see some small stick handling out in front, some small and fast stick handling. Let's see how fast you guys can go. Who thinks they can go the fastest? Okay, guys, looks good. I want to see if you can go really fast though out in front, like Harley's doing. See? Yeah. See how fast and controlled Carly um, is moving the puck right here? Guys, looking good. In front. Okay, don't forget, we're doing small and then one big. Yeah. All right, a few more minutes of this. We really want you guys to get comfortable with this move. Let's, let's see it. Let's see a couple small in the front. Good, so Gus. Hey Gus. We want to just move our wrist. See, I can do, I can do these little stick handles here without having to move my arms all over the place, okay? We yeah. just want little stick handles where all we're really moving is our wrists like this. Can you okay. show us that? Show us you just moving your wrists, okay? With your stick in your hand. Like this. Good. Yeah. So you can start slow to begin with, or you can practice moving your wrist. See what my arms don't really move when I'm just out in front? Really just my wrists that are moving. Let's, let's try to get that movement a little bit smaller. So you're just stick handling from one foot to the other foot. You can slow it down if you need to. Too. Mm -hmm. Maybe 
another minute or so and then we'll take a break yeah all right guys let's take a little break here We'll come back at 11.25, okay? Yeah. Dave and Jacob, take a break. Go uh, some water. Yeah, grab some water, let your arms rest for a second. Um, we're gonna come back in a few minutes and we'll do some fun stuff, okay? Yeah. Okay, Gus? <laughs> All right, you guys, we're going to bring it back here. Um, your other question. Um, do you want me to demonstrate this one? Or not? All right, you guys. 
Welcome back, welcome back. Um, so we have two more drills for you guys today, okay? Um, the first one, what you guys are gonna do is we're going to tell you to, you're just gonna stick handle out in front of you and then we're gonna tell you left or right or out in front. And that's where you guys are going to move the ball to in like one big motion, kind of like we did the last show. So if Allie's stick handling in front of her and I say left, she's gonna make a big stick handle out to the left and then she's gonna bring it back into the middle. And then Allie's stick handling in front of her and I say right. She's gonna bring it out to the right and then back in front of her. And if Allie's stick handling and I say bring it out front, she's gonna push the ball out in front of her and then bring it back to the middle. Does that make sense you guys? All right. Let's get in position. You guys ready? Get it up, grab your sticks. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, once you guys are all set and in position, I will start this. Ready? We're stick handling out in front of us. Let's go to the left. Good, good. Stick handling out in front of us. Let's go to the right. And the right again. All right, stick handling in front of us and let's push it out in front. All right, stick handle, stick handle, let's go to the left. All right, stick handle, stick handle, go to the right. Good, good. Push it out front. Good, now bring it back by your feet. Bring it back by your feet, reset. And out to the right. Bring it to the left. All right guys, make sure you're keeping your heads up. Yep. Make sure you're keeping your eyes up. Take the handle out in front of you and bring it to the right. And bring it to the left. Left again. Nice, nice. Left again. Right. Out in front of you. Push it far. Good. That's the right. Let's see some stick handles, narrow stick handles out in front. Bring it to the left. Bring it to the right. Bring it to the left. Bring it to the right. And push the ball out in front of you. All right, we still got everyone. Getting tired. Even Jake, if you guys there. There so yep, got you stick on Aquaman. Okay, right, let's bring the ball out to our right. All right, bring it 
out to the left. All right, last one, bring it to the right. All right. You guys can right. bring it in for the last drill. We will tell you what it is. Good job, guys. Um, and for this one, we're going to ask you guys to unmute um, because we're going to do the very first week where you're just stick handling in front of you and we're going to yell out a number or oh. with our fingers. And you guys have to tell us what it is so that you're stick handling with your head. Why? Why? Did you say why? All right, you guys, I know it's been a long session, okay? We just have this one more drill. All right, you guys know what we're doing? No. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Gus, what are we doing? So we're signaling and you're going to put a number out and we have to try to guess it? Yes. Yes, except you're not guessing it because you'll see it because your head's going to be up. Head up. Yes. All right? Are you guys ready? I'm gonna hold up the numbers. Co Coach Carly's gonna stick handle. Okay? Alright, so you guys, I want you to start stick handling now, okay? What number is this? Two. Yeah, okay. Alright, good one. What number? Five. Okay. 
Chris will put out a message with that 